I have a question, and don't jump me for this. What is a vitamin? What is a vitamin? I'm not looking it up. You know when they say, like, vitamins and minerals? I know what the minerals part is. It's like rocks and stuff. It's like calcium and magnesium, whatever. What is a vitamin? What is vitamin D? Like, what is it made of? Like, I know what it is. It's vitamin D. You get it from the sun or whatever. But what is it, like, made of? And how do we get it from the sun? Hi, my name is Dr. Rubin, and there are several differences and similarities between vitamins and minerals. So both you need them in order to have a normal functioning body. There's several different functions of vitamins and minerals that help with growth, development, and enzymatic function that is a key for life that you often need most of these things in your diet on a regular basis in order for your body to function. But a key difference between the two is the fact that minerals are inorganic compounds, meaning they do not have hydrogen and carbon as a complex molecule. And then vitamins are organic compounds, meaning they are complex molecules that contain carbon and hydrogen in it. In terms of vitamin D, it can be a little bit confusing, but there's multiple ways to get vitamin D into your body that is in its active form. So there's two ways, essentially. One is through your diet, through things such as dairy, but then also through UVB radiation that's on the skin. You have something called 7-dehydroxycholesterol that with UVB radiation converts it to pre-vitamin D3, also known as cholecalciferol, which then converts it to vitamin D3. From there, it's metabolized in your liver into 25-hydroxy vitamin D, and then in your kidney, it's converted to the active form of vitamin D called 125-hydroxy vitamin D, also known as calcitriol. Calcitriol has many functions on the body, but one of its primary functions is to increase calcium levels in your body. It does that through various mechanisms, including increasing the gastrointestinal absorption of calcium from your diet, also helping with reabsorption of calcium in your blood through your kidneys, as well as breaking down some of your bone in order to release calcium as well. Calcium as a mineral in your body has many different functions. It's not just for bone health, but actually for heart health as well, in terms of muscle contractility and blood clotting. And February is heart month, so it's good to know this information. So in some ways, vitamins and minerals actually go hand in hand in terms of how they're broken down, how they're used by the body. It's actually really, really fascinating.